The Nigeria Center for Disease Control on Tuesday recorded 148 new cases of coronavirus in the country, bringing the total number of infections in Nigeria to 2,950. The NCDC also said that six new patients had so far died from the virus, bringing the total number of deaths to 98. The agency on its confirmed Twitter handle on Tuesday night said that the 148 new cases were recorded from 16 states. A breakdown shows Lagos has 43 cases, followed by Kano with 32 cases, Taraba 7, there are 6 each in Borno and Ogun, 5 in Oyo, 3 each in Edo, Kaduna and Bochi, 2 each in Adamawa and Gombe, while 1 each was re recorded in Pletu, Sokoto and Kebi states. The continuous increase in number of infections said to be a result of increased testing capacity for across the country. Joining us now to discuss the new rise in cases is medical practitioner Dr. Patrick Okundia. Good morning, doctor. Can you hear me? Good morning, doctor. Good morning. I can... Good to have you this morning. Now, new cases every day. What are we doing wrong? Okay. Yeah. What are you doing? Yes, that's the, the question. Issue. Okay. We are, what are you doing? Practicing the guidelines by the NTC. The NTC has given guidelines, the Federal Health has given guidelines to follow, which every Nigerian has expected to follow through to contain the spread of the virus. Uh, you know, we we are told to keep social distances, to wear face masks, and to practice hand hygiene in order to contain the spread of the virus. Apparently, a lot of Nigerians, a lot of people are still coming to terms with the new normal, and coming to terms with the new practices which they are expected to have been by by now. But uh, we have not yet gotten to that stage. We have not yet gotten to that level. A lot of Nigerians still don't believe that the virus is very real. It's that funny. So it accounts for the increase, increase in the cases we have seen did. All right, that's okay. Uh, does the relaxation of the lockdown have any bearing on the figures uh, from last night? So last night, okay, the NCC reported a total number of 148 new cases. Uh, we cannot as category say that the new cases we are samples collected yesterday. Apparently, we uh, the samples are collected and reported on the day the results comes out or the results are reported. So the, the, the only thing that can, that can give us for a fact that these cases which we are reporting yesterday we are as a result of the lockdown. But uh, apparently, we know that from the fillers we got from the lockdown realization, from the videos we saw, from what we saw people practicing the large crowds at the post parks large crowds and the banks, we are expecting an increase in the spread of the virus. Mm -hmm. So over time, over the, in the fulfilled coming years, we are expecting probably a, an increase in the number because of people not uh, adhering to those lay down guidelines which I've said earlier. Uh, and so the lockdown, the relaxation lockdown will have its own role to play in the increase of the number because people have refused to obey these those guidelines. Well, if we have this figure in spite of the lockdown, do you think that you know the curfew of dusk to dawn is still still going to have a significant impact? Well, uh, the curfew of dusk to dawn, we have it on impact. Apparently, uh, the, the the coffee was put in place following reports of. Uh, people going about their businesses at night. You know, you wonder if the virus was sleeping at night because the following way people acted. There are videos of night markets being done in some places in Nigeria. There are videos of people going for parties. Uh, uh, the government had to put in that coffee from dogs done to curtail these untoward practices, these unauthorized practices by individuals. In order to contain the spread. So the curfew will have its own effect eventually if we are able to prevent people from acting irrationally towards that period of the day.
Well, now the government is there's conversation ongoing about plans to disinfect schools uh, nationwide. Do you think that is doable? And you know, um, would that be the solution also to the problem at hand? Yeah, if we want to disinfect the schools, it's a good plan. Uh, but uh, the government knows that it has to work with the community leaders. You know, if you write up to now, a lot of communities are still coming to terms with this new new development. Some of them are still fighting uh, the new changes. Uh, schools are not just in the urban area. There are a lot of schools in the rural areas, a lot of schools in the water side for the river and areas. Those schools also need to be disaffected. And the government will need to work hand in hand with the community leaders who are almost directly in charge of these schools to ensure that these schools are infected. Are infected. But, uh, but in the long run, since we are planning to reopen our schools in the shortest possible time, uh, and this is where students would probably gather, prepare, we could have a large crowd, we need to disaffect these places to avoid uh, possible spread from probably uh, the virus which have been placed in those areas. So the, I think it's a doable fact, but it needs to be actually well planned and brought down to the community level for it to be achieved. We hear the NCDC boss suggesting that a time might come when home isolation might become an option uh, due to the lack of enough bed spaces, which is currently a challenge. What's your thought on this? Well, the, the issue of home isolation is already in practice in some parts of Europe. Uh, it will, if we get to a point where our cases are, have superseded the bed spaces, there will be left no option than to isolate persons at home. Even confirmed cases probably have a trial system when only those who have severe symptoms and severe underlying factors will be admitted in these isolation centers. Why those be mild and moderate symptoms will be allowed to stay at home and call in when their symptoms change. I think it's, it's, it's an option we need to start planning towards, an option everyone needs to get ready if the situation gets worse than it is. Uh, it's actually it's what is being practiced in the part of Europe and it's not, it's not out of line. Uh, so that when, if, or if we get to that stage, we will not be surprised and not be taken on our Keep safe, Dr. Ihani Okeke, and thank you for your time with us this morning. Thank you very much.